good morning everybody and welcome to a new video i hope that you're doing really well and having a great week so far whatever it is you are getting up to or whenever it is you might be watching this um welcome back to my channel and welcome as well if you are new so today i'm doing a video that i've been really looking forward to filming i've been really ill this week if you follow me on instagram i'll pop my handle down below but if you follow me on instagram you'll have probably seen that i haven't been very well and just a horrible cough sore throat cold um and i was saying to one of my friends that i love this time of year but it always feels like you always get a bug or some kind of cough or cold as well at this time of year and i'm hoping that i've had it now and i think fingers crossed touch wood i think i'm coming out the other end of it so i'm finally starting to feel a bit better but i had an awful night's sleep last night so yeah i'm not feeling the best um but i really wanted to film this video because i've been looking forward to doing this and yeah it's just something that helps me feel in the festive Christmassy spirit so get yourself a nice hot drink something cozy some chocolate biscuits mince pie all the good stuff and yeah join me today for a Christmas clean with me so I generally like to do this every year and it's basically the same as a spring clean but a Christmas clean because as much as I love having all of my Christmas decks out and ornaments and everything I feel like you just can't do a really good deep clean whilst your Christmas tree is up and all the decks are out. So before we put the tree up and all the decks go out and it just turns into Santa's Grotto, I like to have a really good clean. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today. I have actually, because I've been off work a few days this week, so I've not been well. Um, I have been kind of sleeping through the days and then I've done a little bit of cleaning here and there in the evenings when I've been feeling up to it. So the house isn't in too bad of a state. Um, it's not like horrendous needing cleaning, more of a freshen and tidy up and just making sure that I do the little jobs that I might not do every single week or whenever I have time. So yeah, I've got a little list on my phone um of the jobs i want to do today and then we fingers crossed are getting our christmas tree tonight and then he can sit in the garage for a couple of days and like puff out i don't know what the technical term is for that but you know when you let your tree rest and it like puffs out if you get a natural um a real tree <laughs> a natural tree if you get a real tree it like puffs out so <clears throat> yeah hopefully we're doing that and so yeah the house will be nice and clean ready for all the christmas decks so i've got most of the bits out that i'm going to be using today and i've got my trusty microfiber cloths and then all of these are actually new festive scented sort of products that i've picked up recently and um, i got all of these actually from b m so i will link down below my b m haul if you've not seen that yet but I got this Febreze Sugar Plum Delight um, fabric refresher and this smells amazing. I've not tried this scent before, but yeah, it's really, really nice. And then I got a new big bottle of the Fairy Washing Up Liquid and this scent is Christmas Spiced Apple, which I thought sounded amazing. And then following on with the spiced theme because that is just what I love at this time of year. I got some if there's a flora winter spice disinfectant some of the febreze air mist in spiced apple and then also some of the airwick refills in mulled wine with clementine and spice which i thought they sounded really nice and then finally a oops <laughs> a bottle of the harpic toilet cleaner um, and this scent is Mountain Pine. So they're the products that I'm gonna be using today, but I am also really excited to share this box from Small, which they very kindly gifted to me. Now, if you've not heard of these guys before, they are all about planet-friendly products that actually work. Um, so they're all about single-use plastic, they're completely cruelty-free, and as you will see, 
They focus a lot on products that are reusable and um, cost effective. So in this box they've very kindly sent me a bottle of their fabric conditioner and I have heard really good things about this so I'm excited to try it. I've also heard that the scent is really nice and then they very kindly sent me three of their reusable spray bottles um, and these are a really lovely idea. I love that on the tabs it tells you what each bottle is for. So for example this one is a multi-purpose spray and they also have little um, images on the other side like this. And then this one here is specifically for glass. And again, it's got a little sign on the back, which I like. And then over here, they've also really kindly included some capsules and tablets. So we've got some of the biological laundry capsules, some of the non-bio laundry caps, the dishwasher tablets, and then also the mixed spray refills and if you've spotted up here they have um, a child lock so you have to see the base and it basically has instructions on here on how to unlock your box and um, it's basically just removing some of the panels so that you can get to the inner drawer but I've never seen something like that on a um, recyclable cardboard product so I thought that was a really clever idea for the packaging, especially being pregnant and starting to think about things being more child friendly. I thought that was a really good idea. So yeah, I'm gonna be using one of these today and also some of the laundry capsules, which is really exciting, and the fabric conditioner. And they have also very kindly given me a discount code to share, which is JADE15. So if you would like to, you can order a free trial pack of laundry capsules and dishwasher tabs. And you can also get 15% off any additional products on your first two orders. This is my first time using these products, so I will let you know what my thoughts are at the end of the video. So I've just opened up the first box. Um, you just basically use the tear off tabs on the sides of these boxes um, and then that releases the child lock. So for an adult it's easy enough to do but I think it's definitely strong enough to deter any little hands from getting in there. Um, and what I've just noticed is in here, although I know it says mixed spray refills, I get it now. Um, so basically these are different tabs that you pop in the corresponding bottle colour. So for example, this one here is for glass, this one here is for bathroom, and then this one here is multi-purpose spray. So you basically fill these up with water and then you pop in one of these tabs and you don't need to stir it or anything, you just let it sit in there and then that is your spray ready to use. So that is brill because I actually have quite a few mirrors and um, glass bits and bobs that I wanted to clean today as well. So I can use that one too. I started upstairs in our master bedroom. I always like to make the bed and just pop all the pillows back on there and just make it look all nice and tidy. I just feel like it always um, helps with a good start to my day. We just had a few bits and bobs that needed tidying away and putting back in their homes. So I just got all of that stuff done.
and then I sprayed some of the Febreze and the Sugar Plum spritz as well on the fabrics on the bed and then the next job I needed to do was cleaning our glass bedside lamps so I used the small glass cleaner and as you can see it grabbed all of the dust really quickly I was really impressed with how well this worked and yeah it got so much dust off so they are now nice and clean again Moving into our ensuite bathroom, our glass mirror always gets really dirty really quickly with a lot of stubborn stains on there. So I was using the glass cleaner here again and it worked really well. do some refills whilst I was in here. Used the Harpic Active Fresh for our toilet and the Mountain Pine scent is really nice. Then using the glass cleaner again from Small, I sprayed down our shower screen which again always gets really dirty really quickly just with um, products used in the bathroom. So I wiped all of that down and then left the product on there for a few minutes. Then in the meantime, I cleared away all of the products from around the bath so that I could give it a good clean and a good scrub and quite a lot of dirt came off here. And for this part, I used the bathroom cleaner from Small. Then I just used my squeegee on the shower screen just to get rid of any leftover product. Next up I needed to do a few rounds of laundry so I used the small tablets and also the fabric conditioner and here you can see just a couple of things that are really great about small. So they are delivered straight to your door and they also have a lower chemical concentration, 100% plastic free packaging and one of my personal favourites is that they are completely cruelty free and vegan. Moving into the kitchen, I really needed to give a hob a good clean we do a lot of cooking at home. So I used the multi-purpose spray on the hob here. And also on the tiles. Each week I like to try and do a meal plan for us, I just find that this helps us to eat a bit healthier, be a bit more conscious about the food that we buy and reducing the waste at the end of the week 
and it's also nice to feel organised and have a plan of what we will be eating each night. I carried on in the kitchen just clearing away some bits and bobs, filling up some of the dirty pots into the dishwasher and then I also needed to clean our window sill where some of my house plants sit. And I obviously hadn't done this in quite a while because there was a lot of dirt that was pulled up. <laughs> Another job that I try and do quite often to keep on top of it is cleaning our sink. Just because of the material and its age, it just grabs dirt and stains, water stains, really quickly. So I try and do this quite regularly. And I was really impressed with the all-purpose spray from Small, which I used here, and it just picked up all the dirt really quickly. Then to finish off, I just used some of these Flora Winter Spice along with some hot water and I love the way that this fills the kitchen with that gorgeous scent. Finally, I moved into the living room, so I didn't need to do too much in here. Um, I did need to give our piano a really good dust down. And then just a bit of general tidying, like putting away blankets and extra pillows. And of course, some cuddles with Indie Bear whilst I was here. <laughs> One of my favourite things to do after I finished my cleaning is to light a lovely candle and sit back and relax with a nice cup of tea. So I've managed to tick off almost everything on my list. It's a few hours later now and I've got pretty much everything done that I wanted to. Um, I could probably just do with a good hoover round but I think I'm going to have and maybe like a mince pie and a cup of tea before I do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's um, my kind of last bits of like my Christmas clean before I'm ready to put up all of our decorations and our tree when we get it. So that will be coming in the next week or so, I think. Um, there'll be a vlog of us going to Ikea and getting our Christmas tree. So if you would like to see more, please hit that like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. But in the meantime, I thought I would just do a quick comment on my thoughts on the small products. So the washing load that I put on earlier is still doing its cycle. So I can't comment yet on the fabric softener and the washing capsule but when I was putting them in the drum they smell really nice um, and that's my first kind of positive I think is that I was surprised that all the products smell really good they're not overpowering scents they're quite fresh and light which is really nice um, and it's something that I actually didn't expect from a more eco-friendly focus brand but they do smell really nice and my second favourite thing about them actually is the fact that they do work. <laughs> so when I was cleaning our hob, which is my arch enemy, I hate our stove top cooker top. Um, it's the one that we had when we moved in the house and I just hate it because I just find it a pain to clean. Um, 
when we get eventually around to renovating the kitchen I would love to get one of the flat induction hobs but for now it works fine so I can't complain but it's always a pain to clean and the all-purpose um, multi-purpose spray this I left to sit on it for literally a couple of minutes and there were a lot of um, stains and things on there we cook a lot on top of our stove and I was really impressed with this it brought up the dirt almost immediately it literally was sat on there for maybe a minute two minutes and then it brought up the dirt um, and the dried food even dried food even really quickly so I was really impressed with this and also the bathroom product and the glass spray worked really well as well they definitely did their job um, and they smelled good which is yeah two of my main positives um, but aside from that I just love the fact that they are more um, planet friendly they're more focused on being sustainable and reusable anything that I can do in my day-to-day -day life to cut down anything that I'm sending to landfill is always a great thing. So yeah, it feels really nice actually to be using products that are in reusable bottles, packaging, that I know I could just order more capsules as and when I need them and then just use this again and all of the packaging that I would receive is recyclable. So it's great to know that and to have a product that actually works. I think I am now what's the word i am now i can't think of what the word is but <laughs> converted i am now converted i would very happily keep using these and i think i will definitely now um look into reordering some of the capsules when i run out um yeah, I loved these, loved using them and would definitely recommend them to friends and family. So that's my final thoughts on these. If you have used them, um, please let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are. But I'm going to wrap this video up here. I've got a very sleepy doggo behind me. She's like, gosh, can you do this somewhere else? I'm trying to nap. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna go and get myself a mince pie and a cup of tea um, and just enjoy it. I love it when everything's nice and clean and you can just relax and feel all cosy and nice. So yeah, I hope that you have a really good rest of your day or evening, morning, whenever you're watching this and I hope that you are well. Take care and I will see you in my next video.